Yeah. Could you explain what Ally Week is? Yeah, so um, Ally Week is a week to educate folks about LGBTQ issues, uh, specifically folks who don't identify as LGBTQ, um, so or straight or cisgender, and it's an opportunity for folks to get educated about ways to best support LGBTQ folks um, through whatever they're going through. Um, so one of the things that we do is provide opportunities for education, try and figure out what term means what, because that's the biggest challenge for a lot of folks, um, and just try and help everybody support everybody else as best they can. Um, when does the club meet? Um, we meet every other Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? I'm the hall monitor, and I'm here with two faces from the Robotics Club here at BMHS coming to tell you why you should join, what it's all about, and basically what's going on. So I'll start with this gentleman right here, Mr. Matthew Sweeney, and this is uh, Jeff Davis, in case none of you knew. Uh, what, what is robotics in, in as a whole? How, do, how does your season work? Uh, what do you guys do? Do you guys build like uh, robots that go into the kitchen and get you like a uh, like granola bar or something? What, what do you guys... <laughs> Run me down with what's going on here. Well, I mean, simply enough, we're pretty much we're we're building robots to go compete in a competition called uh, First Robotics, and uh, the uh, the robots are, have to complete certain tasks that we get at the start of our build season, which starts in January, and uh, we get six weeks to build that robot, and uh, after those six weeks, we compete. Okay. Uh, and you compete against other schools and uh, just other schools, high schoolers that build robots too, and you. You see who can do the thing the best? Yeah, our first uh, couple competitions, we compete with other teams like in the, in like the area, like the Massachusetts Oh, the NBC yeah. kind yeah. of like, yeah. the, the, like kind of the county? Yeah, around the county, county area. New England district. Yeah, New England mm -hmm. district. Okay. Yeah. And then if we do well enough in those events, then we go on to uh, like nationals and then worlds. Worlds, okay. And then it, does the worlds go to the same place every year? Or does it uh, change around the United States? Uh, there's, there's a couple of different worlds. Isn't technically it's like yeah. worlds. It's like basically for the whole United States. But there's a couple of them. There's the one we go to is in Detroit. Yeah. There's one in Austin, and there's it's it's been in different before. places before too. Um, last year's was Detroit and uh, Austin, uh, Texas. Uh, we went to the Detroit one because like half the country goes to Detroit, or half goes to oh, Texas. Okay, so. Did you, did you get assigned one? Do you pick? Uh, it's generally yeah, just yeah, whichever it's, it's, one's closer. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, whichever yeah, one's yeah. your region. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, how do you join robotics? Who's the who's the guy who runs it? Basically, the teacher. Uh, so it, yeah, if you want to join robotics, you could uh, email Mr. Flood or email either me or uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff Matthew Jeff. Sweeney and Jeff Davis. Matthew Sweeney at Gmail. Yeah. <laughs> dot com. Jeff Davis at k twelve dot com. And and. Ma uh, uh, Mflood M -M -M at uh, oh, k12.com and uh, anything else you guys want to say? Oh, I grew a beard. He grew a beard, everybody. I'm the hall monitor. Have a nice one. Good morning. I'm the hall monitor. I'm here with Mr. Shrunk because we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons Club. And some of you may not know what Dungeons and Dragons is. I feel bad for you because. Pretty radical, bro. Yes. You want to explain it, Mr. Trunk? Sure. Uh, so Dungeons and Dragons is a tabletop game, and I'm sure at least a good amount of students in school have seen Stranger Things, where they play that game. But it's based on dice rolls. You play as a character. You develop that character. You work with a group of people, try and solve whatever the story may lie from a dungeon master or a game master. I am one of them. We have three others right now. Presently, we have. Uh, 27 people signed up for club. How many end up staying? I don't know. Yeah. But it's really a great game for problem solving, teamwork, camaraderie, creativity, especially, and helping people get out of their shell. I've had interest from people all walks of life in the school, whether they've been football players, people in DECA, people who might identify from the LGBTQIA community, and just everybody else. Um, the primary thing that people end up saying why they can't play is either schedule or they worry about the stigma of, oh, I don't want to be known as a geek or a nerd in D&D. &D 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 and, so and, and my response to that is, do you watch a, a Marvel movie or Game of Thrones or DC or Lord of the Rings? You're already a geek or a nerd, so you might as well just come join us. Yeah.
And so you make the game up each time you play it, correct? Um, no. Well, kind of. Make them, yeah. I have an ongoing story that a group of juniors has been playing for over a year and a half now. Oh, wow. Uh, it's the same continuous story. I plan on running that story until they at least graduate. Okay. The other dungeon masters who are starting up stories this year, one's going to be a one-year campaign where they're just going to continue the same story. Or you can do a one-off where it's basically, all right, okay. yeah, we got two hours to play a game. Let's figure something out. Let's go get some loot to kill a dragon. Wow. Uh, and what room do you guys meet in? We meet in the library. Every other Friday, starting next Friday, October 5th, from 2.10 to 4.15. Alright, anything else you want to say about the club, the game, anything you want to say in general to the masses? Grow a beard. It, it's quite lovely and it makes you, you know, just look more majestic. Aside from that, nope, got nothing. Alright, you heard the man. Join Dungeons & Dragons Club and... So this year, for the Fill the Gold Boot campaign for Pediatric Cancer Research, and thank you guys for wearing gold, we raised, as a school, $860.58, and I found out on Wednesday if Mr. Murphy can make it happen, we can double that. So it will be $1,720. So that means we are getting doubled by an anonymous donor and, Jimmy, and the Jimmy Fund. So that's a lot of money. In addition to that, the efforts of the Team Up for a Cause um, ELO group and Coach Max have raised, how much did you say, Mr. Murphy? Uh, approximately $3,200. So you put all that together, and we've got well over $4,000 through this team effort, and that's exactly what you guys wanted, right? It's to team up for a cause and for the school to team up. And so that's amazing. So we didn't quite make our goal of high, Mr. Murphy, but we're hoping that because you worked so hard, and the kids really did work so hard. We're hoping he might take one for the team, Mr. Murphy. Yeah.